Good morning guys, check out this amazing sunrise behind me. Today is August 6th, which is opening day of lobster season here in South Florida. I got my whole family on the boat, and today we are after some lobsters. So wish us luck, I will see you guys underwater. It's the only one I've seen here so far. First lobster. All right, here we go. First lobster of the morning of 2021's lobster season. He is not happy. <laughs> so last week we went out for a lobster mini season, which is the two days before regular season that everyone recreational can go out before the commercial lobster divers and people who set lobster traps can go out. Regular season is when anyone who has a lobster license, commercial fishermen can go out and start lobstering. Mini season, there were hundreds of boats out here. Today, I see only one that's probably within a mile of us, like completely different. You got the start of mini season and then the start of regular season, two different worlds, it's crazy. And that was a Wednesday, Thursday, and today is a Friday and nobody is out here.
go down there. <laughs> to measure a lobster properly. You need a lobster gauge. They have to be greater than three inches. So the distance between this point and this point on the gauge is three inches. So it needs to be bigger than that. This is your lobster head. This is his horns. You're gonna measure between the eyes, between the horns, and his head is called the carapace to the back of the head. So you put the top part of the gauge between his eyes and then the bottom part of the gauge. If it goes past the head like this, that would be a short lobster. But since it's still touching his head and not going past, that means the head is greater than three inches. So this lobster is big enough by like a little more than like an eighth of an inch. So legal lobster. All right guys, well we are back at the dock and we ended the day with 27 lobsters and the limit is six per person during regular lobster season. So technically we could have caught 36. We dove for a long time and we weren't finding 36 today. Um, we haven't had a lot of storms or anything like that to bring a lot of lobsters to get them walking and moving them around. But 27 bucks is absolutely amazing. We're going to clean some up for you and Victor's actually going to be making stock out of the lobster heads. So if you guys want to see that video, make sure you watch his video. I'll have it linked in the description. But I'm going to quickly go over just cleaning up a lobster for you. Take one hand on the head, one hand on the tail, and you're going to wring the lobster just like this. Pull off the tail. You're gonna snap off the tip of your antenna, just like that. And then you're gonna stick it in the butt of the lobster and it's gonna, oop, it actually just pushed it out the other side. I just knocked out the um, intestinal tract just like that. I'll show you on another one because that it's happens sometimes, it doesn't always happen. Let's do it again. Grab the head, grab the tail, twist. Sometimes, like that one just did, it pushes out the top side, but they have backwards facing spines on the antenna and it grabs that digestive tract and pulls it out just like that. And that's where their poop is, which you obviously don't want to be eating. So that is how you get a nice, clean lobster tail. But I will see you guys back in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Victor and I were just discussing when was the last time that I was even here doing a catch and cook. I've been absolutely so, so busy doing something that I'm actually gonna to talk to you guys about right now is my lobster net business. It has done way better than I could have ever imagined. So shout out to all of you who have purchased one of my nets or one of my shirts. Thank you everyone, but I've been working my butt off because <laughs> I hand make these from start to finish. I've talked to a few people and they're like, where do you get your nets manufactured? And I'm like, no, literally I do every single little thing from the bending and the molding of the acrylic to the netting, to the handles that Victor helps me put on. But <laughs> literally do the whole thing myself. So this time of year when lobster season just starts, I'm really, really busy. I've been doing this for one year and last year at this time, and now this year at this time I've been really busy. So I'm sorry for the lack of my videos, but that's what I've been doing. So you guys saw us use these in the video today. Every single lobster was tickled out with one of these tickle sticks. And almost all of them, besides a few that we were grabbing with our hands under the rocks, caught them all with these nets. If you guys are interested in them, I will have a link in the description, or you can go to floridalobsternets.com. So the net, the tickle stick, they go hand in hand, and then there's also shirts on the website. So if you guys are interested, link in the description. So tonight for dinner, what are we making? We are doing something brand spanking new. I've never done this recipe before, but I kind of like doing lobster appetizers. Lobster is one of those things that I like to make it go as far as it can go. My dad likes to make it all into ceviche in one day, but I like to use a few and make it into different things so you get to enjoy it in a bunch of different ways. So tonight I went ahead and I did, this is five lobsters I took out of the shell, removed the skin, and chopped into little tiny pieces. So that's what we got in here beautiful white meat of five lobsters. 
Um, we're gonna put this in a pan and we're gonna saute this. After it's done cooking, put them into these little wontons. So then with the little wontons, what I did was took the wonton, put a little bit of sesame oil on there, put them into a cupcake pan, so that's how I got the shape of them, and then sprinkled them with a little salt, put them in the oven at 375 for seven minutes, and that's what they look like now. So that's gonna be our little tiny cute little boats to serve our lobster appetizer in. So after our lobster is finished cooking, we put them in the wonton boats, we're going to finish it off with some scallion. And if you look here, this is the bottom part of the scallions that I put in water, and these have been in here for, I'm not even kidding, one week. So if you can see these white tops, that's what we cut off. So we used the entire scallion from the store, and then you put them, I don't even know if I'm able to take them out of here because the roots are all kind of joined, but you guys can see the roots in there. And scallion just regrows, and I have a bunch of it outside, and I haven't actually got a chance to plant this in the soil yet, but one week just sitting in water in, a, in the mine, plant windowsill over there, and that's what I got. So I'm literally going to get to reuse the scallions that we've already used, just like that. Don't even have to buy any. So if you guys have never tried this before, give it a try. It works really great, and you get fresh scallion without even having to buy it from the store. Everything else we got going on over here is Victor's dish tonight. He's making lobster risotto. So he made a homemade stock and making the lobster risotto. So if you guys wanna watch that, I'll have it linked in the description. Over here in my pan, I've got 75% canola oil and like 25% sesame oil. So we got a little mix of that and now we're putting in the lobster. The lobster does not take a long time to cook and you don't really want to overcook it. Season it with some salt, fresh cracked pepper, some garlic powder. So as you can see, it's only been in there for a few seconds and we're turning white, baby. Literally less than five minutes and our lobster is basically cooked already. So now we're gonna take some sweet red chili sauce and pour this in here. Well, the lobster let out a lot of moisture, but that chili sauce should thicken up a little bit and get a little bit glazy as we just let it sit. All right, so it is time to fill our wonton boats. We stuffed our lobster bowls completely and now we're gonna top it off with our homegrown scallions. This is a new recipe that Brooke um, whipped up and um, it's incredible. It's another really nice way to eat Florida lobster. I mean, look at all that lobster in there. and I didn't, I didn't watch her make it, so I don't know what she did, but it tastes great. <laughs> My favorite way to eat lobster. Really? Yeah. Yep. Your favorite way? Yeah. Wow. So we got a new winner? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Mm, yeah? So delicious. A little, little spicy. But the red way is spicy. Nice. I love it. Thank you. We've come a long way from cooking lobster one way every single time. Oh, so it's just an incredible way to make it. I mean, good job, bro. You, you killed it. Thank, Thank you. you. Tender lobster, crispy wontons, scallions, the sweetness from the chili. This is a killer, killer dish right here. Mm hmm. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try one, Brooke. My favorite part is how small of the pieces that Brooke cut it into. Because lobster can be tough, but this is just like super tender. The perfect little bites in each one killed it, Brooke. Very good. Well, what an amazing way to eat lobster. That recipe was super simple 
and so delicious. It makes me so happy when I come up with an idea of something new that I wanna try with lobster or fish and it actually works really well. And that one was a 10 out of 10, absolutely delicious, highly recommend. You know, it's fun to do something other than like the usual, just grill it and draw some butter and dip it in butter. Someone asked me the other day, like, do you guys ever eat it just with butter? And it's like, we've ate so much lobster, like it kind of gets boring if you just do the same thing over and over again. So absolutely delicious. Victor's dish was also really, really amazing. So perfect first day of lobster season. Great new recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in any lobster nuts, link down in the description. We actually just finished up putting the handles on a bunch right now. So I have them in stock. I ship out within a couple days. Link in the description or floralobsternets.com. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.